we are here with the amazing Riz Ahmed. Riz and I have spent a lot of time together this year with Rogue One. Um, and we now are, you're we here for Night of the Night. We've spent together, a lot of time we? together. We've yeah. been in a virtual cell together. We have. Speaking exactly. of. Why wasn't um, I invited? Well, you didn't want to be here. To be honest. It got really Trust intense me, it's, really it's, quickly. It's, it's, yeah. It's uncomfortable but and hot, but we can we can all share this all together. Riz, in all seriousness, when you started this project, uh, you probably had no idea that it would seem so resonant and timely. I mean, these issues have been around for a while, but right now, today, over the last couple of days, there has been an incredible controversy in this country about um, immigration, refugees, people from certain Muslim countries. Does that make the work that you did more impactful? And how do you feel about it personally, being here in Los Angeles tonight? I think when you're doing work that tackles issues of social injustice or inequality, you're hoping that it's not relevant, right? No one wants that kind of work to be relevant. You're hoping those problems go away and it feels like some fantastical journey that has no connection to reality. But the sad fact is that it is, it is uh, you know, an increasingly prominent part of our, of our lives in this country and in many countries. So I personally believe it's the role of artists to stand up and engage with these issues and engage with our reality. And so, you know, I'm proud of the night of for, for doing that. Uh, what has your reaction been to all that's going on right now? I mean, it's impossible to ignore. Has it impacted you deeply? Are you able to in some way find escapism or solace? Or is it something that you deal with intimately and emotionally every day? Um, you know, I think personally that this isn't a time for escapism. I think if people care about the the future of this country and the future of their world and, and and their lives and loved ones, then they disagree with what's happening. Now's the time to make your voice heard. So um, I know people that have been affected intimately by, um, you know, the last few days events. And uh, I've decided my own small way to start a campaign fundraiser for Syrian refugee children. And uh, John Turturro and, uh, you know, Rami Malek and Just Blaze and, and so many people have been so supportive of that campaign. So if people want to, you know, make a difference and help, I didn't, you know, encourage them to go on. It's crowdrise.com slash Riz. It's a very simple link to remember. And um, yeah, I think there's a lot we can still do to help people who are vulnerable. Crowdrise.com slash Riz. That's right. Crowdrise.com slash Riz. Well, you should do that. And Riz has obviously been very involved in these issues for a long time, both in the UK and now here in the United States. And in a weird way, both of the uh, projects that you've worked on this year really speak to what's going on. And as you say, probably not good to be relevant, but maybe a good time for people to stand up and join you in this discussion. So thanks, Riz. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so and you're wearing Zenya really quickly, right? I am, yeah. It's That's a very, very, very nice. nice. Look at the well. shirt, Ooh, too. That's very, like very cool. I, I, I will. What is that, velvet? <laughs> very, very cool. Yeah. Okay. Thank well, you so much for being here. Thank you so, so much. Take, Take care. care.